So here's what we're looking at. Um, two things, finding the original amount after I've increased or decreased it, okay, by a percentage. So when I look at this problem, after a 20, after a 25 percent increase, uh, TV was 750. Uh, what was it before? What was the original price? Two things we're looking at here. Number one is original price. So original price tells me that I'm I'm going to be using division to solve this. Okay, I'm going to be dividing to solve. I also have this one up here, a 25 percent increase. Now those are the two bits of information that I need to solve this. And if I want to find the original price, always for all these problems, okay, so how I work this out is, if you want to find out the original amount, it's the new amount, in this case 750, divided by the multiplier. And what is the multiplier? The multiplier is what we did in the previous notes with percent increase or decrease. It's writing this as a decimal. Okay, so 25% uh, increase, what this means, 25% uh, increase means 1.25. This number is my multiplier. Okay, so my original amount, let's call that x. My new amount in this case is 750, and my multiplier is 1.25. That is after a 25% increase. And after that, I get $600 was my original cost, original price. All right. So we've hopefully we've done this already, and this is the, the fewest steps we can we can write to get my original amount here. Uh, let's try this one with a discount. After 60% discount, a lawn chair was 105. Find the original amount. Okay. First step is to find the multiplier. And remember, a 60% a discount. 60% discount represents a 60% decrease. And remember what that is. That's 100% that's minus 60%, which is 40%, which is 0 0.40, or just 0 0.4. That represents my multiplier. So the original amount is just going to be the new amount, 105, divided by 0 0.4. Now, we have to think because this it's been discounted, so the original amount better be more than $105. Okay, so it was. It was a lot more, $262.50. Okay, that's what it was before the 60% discount. So that that's kind of how we check it. You know, we say, okay, is the original amount more or less? Well, it better be more if it's been discounted, and it better be less if it's been increased. Okay, finally, taxes. All right, finally, GST. All right, GST in New Zealand. GST stands for good, Goods and Service Tax. So um, most things we buy in New Zealand are going to be GST inclusive. And what that means is that the tax is already included in the price. All right, so these, yeah, we, we see this abbreviation GST INC. That means that the tax is already in the price. So when it says find the pre-GST price, um, it's not saying find the original amount, but that's what we're looking for. Okay? We're going to have to know that a tax is a percent increase. So a 15% tax, 15% tax means a 15% increase. 100% plus 15% equals 115% which the multiplier is 1.15. So the pre-GST price is my new price, 72, divided by the multiplier, 1.15. So does that mean that any time I find the pre-GST price, I divide by 1.15 in New Zealand? Yes, we do, because it's 15% no matter what you're purchasing. Okay, so 
we get a pre-tax price of $62.61. And these tax problems, it's not going to change. Uh, a tax is always going to be an increase. So if we see something like this and it says find the original price or find the uh, pre, actually it's also called GST exclusive. And that means without GST or pre-GST. We, we see that sometimes as well. Okay, so let's, let's do some practice problems and see how we do. Okay, let's try some of these and see how we do.